Well, um, happy for our guys. It was a dominant performance, um, one that uh, we challenged our guys early in the week. Of, of having that chip on our shoulder, having that edge, having that mentality uh, every week. Um, and we didn't want to be a roller coaster team. We wanted to continue to improve and get better. Uh, Houston's a good team. Uh, I think we caught them today at the right time, maybe. Um, but uh, our guys really played focused, uh, physical football. And, you know, you look at the statistics, and if we can keep the ball on third down like we've been doing, I think we were 10 of. Uh, 10 of 14 on third down, and they were 3 of 14 uh, on third down. That was the story of it last last week, and it was the story of it this week that enabled us to keep the time of possession, do some really good things, uh, both sides of the ball. Can't say enough about our defense. Coach Kleinerman and the staff, great plan. Uh, we're playing really well at all three levels of defense right now, which I'm excited about. And then, uh, as I told the guys and, and told him, I thought Will Howard, um, he's played a lot of really good football here, and he may, may have played his best game, so I was really pleased with Will. Chris, you guys have been quite dominant all this season. You know, you had a pretty big win today. Two parts to that. What do you think it says about a team that they're able to do that week in, week out? And just how, why have Yeah. Uh, maturity uh, would be one thing. Got a lot of six-year guys that uh, this place means everything to, that they only have three more chances. Now we're down to two. Um, our mentality uh, of, of not getting ahead of ourselves, not thinking about, oh, I'm excited because we play at 11 o'clock or play homecoming or whatever, of our one play at a, or one day at a time mentality of just you know, winning Monday and getting to Tuesday, winning Tuesday and getting to Wednesday. And uh, we talked college, winning college football games is hard, but you can't win games on Saturday without attack in the week. And I, I give our older guys credit, man. You know, we had a tough practice on Wednesday on defense, and Austin Moore grabbed them all and brought them all together and said, we've got to be better. And uh, uh, we're holding each other accountable, and that's player ownership. Can you just elaborate a little bit more about what you like so much about Wilbur? Uh, just uh, in control, in command. Um, saw the field really well. Uh, I thought he, he ran the ball well, got some extra yards a few times when uh, uh, he ran through some arm tackles to get ourselves a first down. I thought he was on point uh, throwing the football. Uh, I, I was pleased with him. You know, we'd worked to play where we threw the ball downfield to Phillip, and we don't take that many vertical shots, and it was a third and one, and he led Phil pretty well, and then Phillip made a big-time catch, uh, which got us in another chance for Phillip on a, on a touchdown pass. I just thought he was in command today, Will was. Um, I think it's collectively, it's our entire group back there and Coach Malone and good Coach Klanerman. We, we th felt like we would continue to get better um, with all the young players. You know, guys, we lost Echoes with the Chiefs. Julius with, is with the Colts. Josh Hayes is with the Bucks. We lost some pretty good players back there. Um, that uh, we were going to be a work in progress in the secondary. And uh, we've continued to, to attack each day and each week to try to get better. Um, moving Kobe and VJ was uh, the right thing to do uh, when we did it. Now they've settled in for a few games. I was pleased with Will Lee coming back and playing really well after being nicked up and, and not playing as much. He played uh, well today. Keenan's continuing to get better. Jacob's uh, always been really solid. It's just, and it's a week to week thing because we've got to be really good in the second. Secondary in this league. And Jake Clifton played well for today. Yep. Yeah, uh, same thing. He just keeps um, being that uh, Swiss Army knife that can do it all. He played Sam, Mike, and Will. Uh, we got Romaine back, so that was good to get some snaps off of everybody. Um, you know, uh, Bo Palmer played some snaps. I mean, just we, we've got it, we're as deep as we are which isn't very deep, but to uh, have Austin Romaine back uh, allowed us to get Dez and Austin uh, off the field a little bit. But uh, our, our linebackers are fitting things well, and we're rotating a lot of guys at D-line and our D-line. I thought Nate played, Nate, Nate Madlock played really well today as well. This is another defense question. Uh, Joe Klanderman um, pulled the, uh, the, the defensive room, uh, so on and so forth. What has been made this um, you know, I, I think the kids take a lot of pride in it, for starters. Um, we're really detailed in, in our work as coaches with Joe leading it and all the other guys with Steve and, uh, and Buddy and, and Van and Tui. Uh, we've got really good, smart guys in there. Um, we've simplified some things since early in the season, which I think has helped some of our younger players continue to progress and get better. 
Uh, and then, uh, you know, just continuing to challenge those guys every day, uh, not just on Saturday. And, and the more guys we can play, the more guys it's going to help us as, as we continue on. I don't even know where we're at. We've got eight games into it now. Um, but uh, uh, excited, and I think there's more in them on defense. I think we can continue to play better. Coach, what was that moment like when you saw Seth catch, catch uh, the ball? Yeah, that was, that was uh, cool. I mean, Seth's everybody's favorite because of uh, – you know, he puts everything on the line for K-State uh, first and for Seth Porter second. I mean, he puts everything on the line for his team, for his school, and um, that was a big-time play. I was glad he got a chance on offense, as, as good as he's been on special teams for my whole time here. Uh, I was really excited that uh, Avery gave him a ball and a chance, and then uh, I was so glad he got in. I don't know if we confused him. He's a really good player. I grabbed him after the game. I told Dana before the game. I, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, known his dad for a long time. Big fan of the family. He's a competitor. He's made them uh, much, much better at Houston. Uh, and uh, he still is dangerous. Even the one he threw the pick to Will, I don't know if we were ever going to tackle him. Um, he made everybody miss and, and kept himself alive. He probably got tired. Uh, but he's a terrific player. And um, we got so much respect for him. He'll bounce back for sure from this game. And the last question I have is, I don't know if you had a chance to see Cooper Beebe's block on the touchdown run. I did. Um, what, what has he meant? Yeah. Him? Well, I think we had a couple pancakes on that one. But uh, well, you know, there's a reason why Beebs is getting the accolades he is as one of the best interior linemen in the country. He brings it every week. Uh, and it's not just, you know, once in a while he plays he plays hard plays physical um, you know he really our, our communication in the offensive line is getting better and better and uh, you know Beebs is is a mean nasty guy in there and, and uh, plays really physical and I, I'm so glad he's playing at, at his best right now Garrett Oakley had his first touchdown catch of his career today and three receptions and 36 yep. yards and 29 of those after uh, the catch what has his development been like uh, well, he's been he was banged up uh, for the first third of the season, so we didn't have him. And then we've kind of slowly started him to put him into into the fold and into the game plan. But when Ben got hurt last week, it elevated that and escalated that a little bit quicker. Um, and uh, Oaks is a really good athlete. I think his he's a redshirt freshman. He's going to be so good for years to come because he's starting to learn our offense. He's getting healthier. We were pretty smart with Ben today and how we utilized Ben, uh, but I was pleased with Swanee. I was pleased with Oak. Uh, ben, it's good for us to be able to uh, play three guys in there. In the past uh, two games, you've had four guys catch the first career touchdown passes. Is that been a concerted effort to spread around more in the passing game? Has that been two quarterbacks Yeah. You know, I, I, that's a good question. I, I don't know uh, the answer to. Uh, a lot of times, it's it's the quarterbacks doing a nice job of going through their prog progressions, and um, that's that's the guy that's open, and that's probably the thing that had has helped us right now is with um, Will being able to make plays at quarterback, Avery being able to make plays at quarterback, DJ and Treshawn being able to make plays. We just talked about the tight end position uh, and then all the wide receivers that we have. Um, you know, we can spread it around and it's not like, boy, we've got to just stop him or stop this person. And uh, we're going to continue to need that to need that as, as we move forward in our league because, um, you know, each week it might be somebody new. Uh, just super proud of the guys. I just appreciate uh, their efforts and, and how hard this is to sustain success in college football. And, and you know, one a whole lot of great things said about that crew after the Oklahoma State game, and and they know it and they remember it, and and they felt like they needed to play better, and knew that they could play better. And you know, we go to, on the road against Texas Tech, who's a great team, and play a really good football game, and then come home and back it up against a really good TCU team, to come home and back it up again with against the Houston team, it's a credit to the players. It's a credit to the leadership in that locker room. It's a credit uh, to those guys of holding each other to the standard that they expect every day. Out of the game, 
Um, just, you know, we, we spread it around. I, you know, DJ made some really good runs. DJ's playing at a high level right now and doing some really – and running with, with great pad level, and I'm excited um, because, we're you know, in colder games – I don't want that guy running downhill at me. And um, I thought DJ ran the ball well. I thought Treshawn did. I thought uh, Will ran the ball well. I mean, it's fun to be able to spread it around. I, I was glad Anthony got in the game a little bit. We gave a couple of jet uh, series to our wideouts. I thought Jaden Jackson ran really hard with some of the jets he had. You know, just being able to spread the thing sideline to sideline opens things up inside. Yeah, I have to go back and see it. I, I don't know what happened at all. Uh, well, you'd have to ask CK that later on this week. Um, I, I know the plan was to to play both, and and uh, I know Will was playing with a lot of confidence, and and so he stayed with him. You guys held the ball for a little over twenty minutes in the first half. Were you pleased with the ball control, really, for the most part of the ball game? Yeah, I mean, we had a twelve play drive, a fifteen play drive, a nine play drive, eight play drive. You know, when, when you're keeping good offenses on the sideline and keeping our guys fresh on, on, on defense, we had 59 snaps. Uh, Houston did in the last two series were against some of our younger players. So, you know, keeping guys like Austin Moore and Des Purnell and Khalid and uh, a lot of older guys uh, play countdown is going to help us in the long run. Yeah, didn't even mention it in there. We've got, you know, we're, we're on to the next one and see. You know, we I know the next one's a big one, but we're going to enjoy this one. It's once again, it's not 2:30 a.m., so I'm kind of excited to just kind of relax and and uh, maybe enjoy an afternoon. Okay, thanks everyone.